Entrepreneur Mary Monat makes it her business to raise public awareness about how to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Oftentimes it's more expensive to be green, and it's not nearly as easy, but people care. A day at a green festival, at a, an event being greened by us, will start with us putting out the containers for the attendees. If you have the greenest of events and you could go through every item, all you should have left is about two or three percent that goes to trash. When people are distanced from that, even that slight recycling versus landfilling action, I think that's a decrease in personal power. It's saying, no, it doesn't matter and I don't matter. It does matter where you put it. When I got started on the environmental path, I was working with the Harmony Festival stage in the Eco Village where Julia Butterfly Hill was speaking. She had just come out of the tree that she was sitting up, up in Humboldt County, drawing attention to the plight of our natural resources. And she said, well, yay, here's all of you wonderful Northern California progressives. Look at your garbage cans. You're not walking your talk. You're barely recycling, and you're definitely not composting. Analyze what you're doing here. And she said, I won't be back until this event is greened. So I ran from the gathering crying. It just all the dots in my mind, heart, and soul connected to make a really clear picture of what mattered to me most. And that was people, the environment, and the economy, and where they intersect. So the next year, I started light greening at that festival. And we brought in biodegradable wares and got at least composting going for the food vendors. And then year by year, it built up. We oftentimes will have monitors working at the stations who can communicate with the attendees about what goes where and why. Our biggest motto is, where one can stands, there are three cans. So it's no can stands alone, because as soon as there's one, everything goes into it. Your green can, curbside can at home. Yes, you can put food scraps, veggie scraps. We really want to pay attention to the empowering component. We can be there and make it better for events all day long. Put the signs out, put things in the right place, sort the bags, haul them. All better, magic wand, nobody learned anything. My career is insured for a couple of lifetimes. What I would like is to have no career. Everybody got it, they put things in the right place, they brought all reusable wares. I'm out of a job. Yay, happy world. So this is a carbon filtration unit that we use for filtering local water to get people off of plastic water bottles. For 30,000 people for a whole weekend, we use no plastic water bottles. We've done a new spin, and many others have as well, on that reduce, reuse, recycle adage to add rethink to the beginning of it. And certainly, we're using another R, rot, in the middle for composting. As a, as a society, what we're not doing is thinking about the whole consumer disposal process. A plastic water bottle will never be a plastic water bottle again. It's downgraded into benches or fleece or something else. There are five major gyres swirling plastic masses in our oceans. Fully 85% of what's in the oceans, it's washed down from our land. My one thing that I always pick up is plastic. I know that it washes down into our streams and washes into the ocean and has the chance of killing a seabird or a sea mammal. Underneath the business, through me and through most of my core employees, is always thinking about the reuse of it all, rather than a one-time use anything. Absolutely, everything that you can recycle, put into that blue bin. Visit the website RecycleNow.org in Sonoma County to know what really goes where. So Lagunitas has loaned 500 mugs to maximize the reuse thing, and now we don't have to use any toss-away mugs for beer drinking. That's a great idea. Yeah. The only real garbage that needs to be made, if you're paying strict attention to everything that's going into and out of an event, is minor. It, so we have the monitors, we have um, sorting stations back at our dumpsters, or if it's a small event, we'll have a truck and we'll do a self-haul. So we'll bring everything from the event to the Worm Ranch, to Sonoma Compost, to the recycling facility. To be able to see this, where everything's being sorted, we're going to get compost. It, literally from the waste that people are making, new things will be growing, and that to me is really rewarding. It's the way to be, and it's a really wonderful, gentle ripple as you stand in line with your little stainless steel to go where it starts conversation on down the line. And someday that person is going to hit at just the right time and go, 
all right, it's time for me to start that habit. And that's all it is, is habits, right? It's, if it's 21 days to a new habit and you just do it every day, then before too long, it's so automatic. The efforts of Green Mary and her team restream garbage away from our landfill. For more information, go to green-mary.org.